uh, we're lucky in this area to be uh, surrounded by uh, a handful of the best, music uh, best musical organizations in the world uh, with the President's Own Marine Band, with the Person's Own Army Band, uh, the Air Force Band, the Navy Band, and the Army Field Band in, uh, in Fort Meade. And with that comes, uh, comes access to, uh, to these musicians that come in and work with our students and teach them privately. Um, our saxophone qu quartet to, to my right, uh, they've, been, they've been doing their own thing. I have nothing to do with this at all. Um, this, is a, this is a student led thing all the way. Uh, Julian approached me uh, a month ago and asked if, if they could perform a, a work that he had written uh, for their quartet. And I said, well, play it for me and we can see if it's legit. And, uh, and uh, you know, they're here, so, uh, <laughs> so brace yourselves. Um, uh, Julian's gonna speak about the piece for a moment and uh, then you get to hear all their hard work. Hello everyone. Uh, there we go. Okay, uh, so I wrote this piece called An Idea. Um, I was one day sitting at my desk and I realized that there was these notes coming from the air and I realized that there were overtones from wind pushing through my window and so I realized, hmm, that's really interesting. So I wrote that chord down, it's a drone chord and you'll hear it at the beginning of this piece played by the alto and the tenor. Um, and I thought of this really simple melody that went with it and uh, that was my initial idea. So. Uh, I quickly progressed this idea. I, uh, I uh, kind of changed it. I thought of different ways to put it in my head and I realized that the way we interpret musical ideas changes all the time from a peaceful and broad melody to a dark and sinister and forceful melody. Uh, it quickly took a lot of different forms and the piece um, became what it is now and that's why I labeled it an idea. So I hope you enjoy, thank you.
told you not to be on your phone. <laughs>